Uh, today I'm going to do a walk uh, up to Rogan Seat. Uh, this year I decided to do a bit of a challenge. I'm going to do the Dale 30. Uh, I think this challenge was brought to my notice by a tramp in the hills uh, about a year ago. Uh, last year I did try and do some of them. I kind of made a start on it but then I failed miserably. Life got in the way and I kind of gave up. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna restart my challenge and uh, do it again and this time I'm going to film it so that might encourage me to keep going with it. Um, some of the hills I have walked before uh, but quite a few I haven't and probably quite a few I've actually forgotten that I've walked them. I've done them with walking groups and uh, you know totally forgotten uh, where I've been. Uh, so I thought I'd uh, take on the challenge again today. Um, so I started in Kel today and I've just followed uh, the Swell Trail and I'm now at Crackpot Hall which is over there which is a, a ruined farmhouse um, There's some spooky stories associated with Crackpot Hall There is a ghost story of a little girl that haunts the place um, but I think um, on research it turned out the, the ghost story started, uh, it was actually um, a family used to live there and there was a little girl that lived there as well and she used to wander around the hills as little kids do and that's how the ghost story started. So uh, Crackpot is a, I think it's a Norse uh, name originally so I think it means uh, crow cave or something, Crack being crow and pot being cave, so that's what crack pot means. And uh, Rogan Seat is another Norse name. Um, probably somebody called Rogan <laughs> lived up there, I don't know. Um, so quite a few of the hills around here have uh, Norse uh, names. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of misty today. Um, it's not too bad, it's not supposed to rain, but this is the Yorkshire Dales, uh, so even though it's forecast 0% chance of rain, there is still a probability that it will rain at some point. So we're just going to see how we get on. Uh, so this might kill me walking up this huge hill. Uh, it's one of the Dales 30 because um, it's over 2,000 feet. Uh, I don't know how, how big exactly Rogan Seat is. Well, it might kill me walking up there. I'm a little bit unfit, <laughs> so so this might get me a bit fitter. Or it might kill me, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so I'll see how we got on today. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take it steady and uh, yeah, just enjoy it really. working my way up. Uh, <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I've never been up to Rogan Seat before and uh, this uh, part of the route here is a section of the coast to coast and I have walked the coast to coast before uh, but I'm pretty sure um, at the time we took uh, the low level route because you can walk down by the swale on this section uh, because I think the weather up here was, was pretty awful. Uh, when, when we did it. So I, so it's quite nice to uh, walk this little bit actually. Um, but yeah, I, it's not, um, Rogan Sea is not uh, a hill or mountain, shall I say, that people will talk about very much. Um, I'm pretty sure when I go to work next week and I tell people I've walked up Rogan Sea that they, they will have no idea where it is. Uh, everyone's heard of Ingleborough and Wernside and <laughs> those hills, but not rug and seat. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's absolutely gorgeous walking up here. This little stream uh, trickling down. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm really enjoying it so far. I don't know 
what that is. There's like a round piece of metal in the flagstone. I have no idea. Well, it's absolutely gorgeous. I keep saying that. I need to find some new adjectives to describe beautiful places. I really do. But look at it. I don't know how, what else to say. Look at the clouds on the hills over there. Just stunning, absolutely stunning. So I haven't seen hardly anyone. I've seen one person in a red jacket and that's it. Nobody around. It's, it's Saturday, of course, in the Yorkshire Dales. So where is everybody? Just nobody. This is the great thing about the Yorkshire Dales. If you want to go somewhere where there are no people, come to the Yorkshire Dales because everyone's in the Lake District or in the Peak District on top of Jacob's Ladder. That's where everyone is. But the Yorkshire Dales, there's no one. So now, I think I'm on the top plateau, which is this exposed moorland. You can see there's great big peat hags. There are some huge ones. Yeah. It's an interesting landscape, but I love these landscapes as well. It's just so desolate and bleak. Yeah, there's nothing up here. <laughs> So it was, it's a good hike up there and I have to say, yeah, you need a decent standard of fitness to get up there because um, it's quite a rocky path, um, yeah, it certainly gets your heart beating. So yeah, you need to be, you need to have a, you know, um, a fairly okay standard of fitness. I don't know, if I can do it, you can do it. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah I'm going to find somewhere to sit down and have some lunch soon. I'm pretty hungry after that. be at. The coast to coast goes off in that direction. Unfortunately, we are heading over there into the mist. We're definitely in the mist now. <laughs> Can't see much now. Uh, I'm so glad of this, uh, this track actually. It's so easy to follow. Uh, it's great. So uh, I haven't a clue where the, uh, the cairn is. Uh, I'm just going to keep wandering until I spot something in the distance. Uh, I'm starting to consider the fact that I might not find this. <laughs> I might not find this cairn. In which case, my first, my first challenge on this uh, Dales 30 will be a complete failure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I can't see a bloody thing. <laughs> I'm just going to keep walking, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully find something. Um, I think I've failed, I've, I've failed to find the cairn, um, it's just so misty. I did start to see like a bit of a something in the distance, but it's just so <laughs> misty. I don't want to leave the track and then I'll just get lost. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm struggling a bit. So yeah, okay, I made it to the top, right, but I haven't quite located the cairn. I just, yeah, I did a uh, joke with my partner before I left the house this morning. If I don't visit it, because I'm lost on Rogan Sea, well, I don't want that to become, <laughs> to become you know, reality. <laughs> don't fancy being stuck up here. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I'm dropping down now. So I think I'm, yeah, past, past the point of finding the cairn. Uh, so um, hopefully <laughs> I'll walk out with this, uh, this cloud and have a better view of the path down. Well, we're out the cloud now, a little bit of the wind, and now uh, <laughs> we've got this hideous muddy track to follow <laughs> all the way down. Uh, but look at the light on the hills there, just uh, piercing through the cloud. It's lovely. So I've lost the track at the moment. There isn't really a track on this side. On this side of the river here, on the other side, there is a track. But the guidebook, the Del 30, does indicate that you stay on this side of the river. Can't really see anything. Uh, and this is like, unfortunately, one of those like moments when you're walking by yourself 
you kind of think, well, it would be nice to have like a second opinion. It would be nice to have like someone with you just to ask, you know, well, what do you think we should do? Uh, but I don't have anyone. So <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm gonna have a wander around on here and uh, just see if I can find it. There might not be anything, any sort of track at all, but um, I'm just going to wander along. I'm getting a bit worried then. <laughs> uh, I think I have found the track. There is a track. <laughs> Uh, great. Right, so, on to Keld now. This is a nightmare walking across here. I think if you, if anyone considers walking up to Rogan Seat, uh, I think you best just um, like walking back the way where you come, like up the Land Rover path. Just turn around and go back straight down, and just yeah, just retrace your steps because this this is really hard work walking across this morning. It's, yeah, it's boggy, there's no real track, I'm sort of kind of following a bit of a Land Rover track. It's an absolute nightmare. <laughs> I'm exhausted. It's more tiring walking along here than actually walking up to Rogan Seat in the first place. So yeah, that would be my suggestion. Do not do this bit <laughs> at all, it's awful. That was a nightmare. I've just had to <laughs> come down this like, this really steep section here. Yeah, the track kind of like just disappears on the tops. It's an absolute nightmare. But I did see Keld in the distance, so it's not that far away. And I think we're on slightly more surer footing now. So hopefully this next section should be a lot easier because I am absolutely wiped out by that. And there's Keld in the distance as well. Oh, thank heavens. <laughs> Now that view is amazing. Look at that. How stunning. After all that, oh my God, all that on the top of that hill there, that was a nightmare to come down to this. Whew, makes it worth it. I'm just heading back into Keld now. That is the end of the walk. Ah, wow. And that, I have to say, was a walk of in two parts, really. It was amazing walking up, um, but once you get past Rogan's, you know, the, the top of Rogan Seat, heading back over, oh, that was, yeah, not, not good, not good at all. And I followed the route uh, given in the Dales 30 book, which is guidebook, which is, you know, is a guide to the challenge of completing the 30 uh, big hills, big mountains in the Yorkshire Dales. Um, so I did follow that that route. But I have to say, I think if you're going to do Rogan Seat, do not, uh, don't follow that route in its entirety. Um, use the the nice track up to the summit of Rogan Seat, but then just, I would say, just like backtrack and then go back the way you've come. Um, because if you come round to the other side, do the big loop, uh, you really need hill walking experience to do that. I mean, fortunately, I do have hill walking experience, so I've managed, uh, but you need a really good level of fitness and you need some pretty good hill walk walking experience to get through there. I mean, fortunately, uh, it's a, it cleared up, but I think if the mist came down, I would have struggled uh, to get through. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not for beginners at all. Yeah, do, <laughs> don't try and walk around that way if you're a beginner it's not newbie friendly you will come unstuck pretty quickly if you try that um so i'm not like dissing the writer of the book uh, i think it's jonathan smith i'm not dissing the writer i think he he did say it was a challenging route but yeah my suggestion would be just to stick to the easier path it's much more pleasant and uh, the views are much better as well 
Anyway, I actually came here today on the little white bus and um, the little white bus, I've got, oh, I've got a couple of hours to wait until the next one. Would you believe it? So you know what this means, don't you? I'm going to go to the pub and <laughs> have a sit down. I might have a couple of pints. <laughs> right, so if you've watched this far, thank you and I'll, I'll see you again next time. I'll go to the pub. Pub's closed until March. <laughs> it's a bit of a long wait, isn't it? <laughs> Might find a cafe instead. <laughs>